Hi again, everybody. Welcome to Flashback right here on KentStateSports.com. I'm Ty Linder. PNC Wagon Wheel Challenge is back at it this weekend right out here at Zeller Field. More on that in a moment. Field hockey team opening up conference play with a matchup against Missouri State to kick off homecoming weekend. And the Golden Flashes didn't disappoint, locking down a 5-2 win over the Bears to start Mid-American Conference play, then stepped back out of conference play for a matchup against the nationally ranked Northwestern squad. They fell in that 3-1. to one. Now they have a long week of preparation for Central Michigan, Saturday, high noon, right over at Murphy Mellis Field as we'll get back into conference action. Hope to see everybody out there at the Mel Saturday against CMU at high noon. Kent State volleyball team stepped out of conference in the midweek last week to take on Youngstown State in the Valley, losing 3-1. Then on Friday night, Flashes came into the MAC Center having won three straight at home to start the season. They go up one set to zero, a chance to go up 2-0, but fall down the stretch, allowing five straight points. They lose it 3-1 to Bowling Green, which has had a great season. After a great season a year ago, the Golden Flashes volleyball team giving the Falcons all they could handle. Would there be a letdown, though, after that frustrating loss? The answer, resoundingly in the negative, as they sweep the Miami Redhawks on Saturday night to cap off homecoming weekend 3-0. Now the Golden Flashes will stay at home to take on the 18th ranked Ohio Bobcats coming up on Thursday night. Now Don Grimaldo, the head coach of the Golden Flashes in his second season, spent a couple of years in Athens as an assistant on the OU volleyball staff. He has a chance to take on his former team. Golden Flashes have a chance to beat a ranked opponent at home for the first time in a long time. If you can't make it out, we'll have it for you on the Golden Flashes iHeart Radio channel at 6.50 on Thursday night. Homecoming bash as well at Robert C. Dick Stadium for football. The Golden Flash is just one mistake. They invited Jordan Lynch and Northern Illinois to the party. But the Golden Flash is kept right up with the nationally ranked Huskies, eventually falling 38 to 24, despite an electrifying 100 plus yard kickoff return for a touchdown for Dree Archer. It was certainly great to see him back at the friendly confines of Dick Stadium. He then made a sensational move after a passing route, going 60 plus yards to give the Flashes a chance in that game, but eventually the veteran Huskies were too much. The Golden Flashes will get a crack at another Mac West team this weekend when they go to Schumann Stadium in Muncie to take on the Ball State Cardinals at three o'clock on Saturday. On the links, the Golden Flashes women's golf team finished seventh out in Norman at the Schooner Invitational. Taylor Kim took home third place honors. Now that's it for the women's golf team as far as the fall. They'll be gearing up out at the golf center during the winter months, getting set for the regular season coming up in February and March. Now on the men's side of things, they've got the Bank of Tennessee Invitational coming up on October 11th through the 13th. We'll have a recap of that next week. Well, there are some golden flashes walking around campus this week with their hands kind of hanging down a little bit lower. That's because they were given these. This year's baseball championship rings commemorating the 2013 run to the Mid-American Conference regular season championship. A dramatic finish, as you may recall, when the golden flashes caught Buffalo and made the pass in the final 20 seconds of the season. On the final pitch, when Bowling Green upset Buffalo and the Flashes swept Akron, Kent State with its 18th championship of some kind in baseball history. What a run. Head coach Jeff Duncan in his first year presents, along with Mike Birkbeck and their new assistant coaching staff, presenting all of last year's players with the rings from 2013 and saying, we'll be right back here next year doing this all over again. Now the Golden Flashes soccer team, a pair of 1-0 nail biters this past weekend. One of them went in the win column, the other in the loss column. They knocked off Ball State 1-0 and then fell to Miami in Oxford. But that's out of the way. Now they have one more road trip to get through. That's Friday night when they take on Buffalo in New York at seven o'clock. From there, they come home and once again, we turn our attention to this, the PNC Wagon Wheel Trophy. As you may remember, the Golden Flashes have already struck first 
in this year's challenge, winning at Akron in volleyball. You might also remember that one of the key wins in last year's Kent State Triumph came on the pitch when the Golden Flashes women's soccer team went to Akron and won in double overtime. One of the most thrilling events of all of last year, regardless of sport. And if the drama is even half of what it was last year at First Energy Field, we're in for quite a battle here at Zeller Field coming up on Sunday. We hope you'll be here at Kent State's Zeller Field for the battle. Golden Flashes trying to make it one and a half points to zero in the very early going of this year's PNC Wagon Wheel Challenge. Two years we fought for this trophy. We've had it at Kent State both years. And no plans really to give it up. We hope you'll be here to celebrate the Golden Flashes soccer team makes it back-to-back -back victories over their rivals. Thanks to producer Nick Kane, I'm Ty Linder. Good luck to all of the Golden Flashes teams coming up this weekend. We hope to see you out at some of our home events. So long, everybody. Go Flashes.